Millie Bobby Brown rose to fame at an incredibly young age. That's why she wants to play Britney Spears, who also appeared on magazine covers when she was a teenager in a biopic. Fortunately, the Emmy nominee has adjusted to her stardom better than many child actors, helped that she had the support of her older Stranger Things co-stars like David Harbour, Winona Ryder, and Matthew Modine. Matthew Modine said that they want to protect Millie Bobby Brown as much as he possibly could after she became globally famous at the young age. In today's video, we're going to tell you why Matthew Modine wanted to protect Millie Bobby Brown. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. In the Netflix sci-fi series, Modine plays Dr. Brenner, or Papa, when it comes to Eleven, and has worked closely with Bobby Brown since she was 12 years old. The penultimate episode of season four is aptly named as Eleven's relationship with Dr. Brenner, aka Papa, gasps for the last time when Papa dies, this time for real. Since season one, Modine has played the manipulative scientist, the father figure in Brown's Eleven, intending to harness her telekinetic powers to arm them, although in many ways their relationship is based on exploitation. There's also a deep bond between Eleven and Papa, a bond that's reflected in Modine and Brown. The two actors have forced a true friendship since they began sharing the screen when Brown was just 12 years old. That meant filming the moment Papa dies alongside Eleven was emotionally charged and one of their biggest on-screen challenges. Filming that final scene together was the only time Modine had seen the show's creators, the Duffer Brothers, give a really specific direction to Brown. We were emotional, and they said to her, you're saying goodbye, you're cutting the cord, Modine tells Tadum. The Duffers believe both of their actors deliver some of the best acting either of them have ever done in those final scenes, but what stands out for Brown is how much it resonated personally, because it was Millie saying goodbye. It was horrible, she says. The two were early partners on the show, with Modine previously telling Vulture that all he wanted in the first season was to help her succeed in her role. Stranger Things co-creator Ross Duffer previously told Harper's Bazaar how Winona Ryder helped her young co-stars adjust to fame, especially Bobby Brown. She talked to the kids about what being a celebrity is like and how the press can be and the anxiety and confusion that comes along with being a celebrity, she said. I think she really helped them. I know she specifically helped Millie a lot to work through that. And that's something that no one else can help with, really, because so few people have experienced it. It's not something I understand. It's not something that, you know, even a parent would understand. Speaking on The Jonathan Ross Show in an episode that aired on Saturday, November 19th, Modine said that outside of his on-screen relationship with Brown, he felt protective of her and worked to set her expectations for glory. Over the course of my career, the young actors and actresses whose lives were destroyed by that kind of fame and money and everything, it can be very destructive and disorienting, Modine said. I just wanted to do everything I could to make sure she was safe, and she understood that a career is a roller coaster, and there's ups and there's downs to it. Brown herself told Allure for its September cover that it was hard to endure online bullying as a young star, with the publication reporting that she went to therapy to deal with constant bullying. It's really hard to be hated on when you don't know who you are yet, she told the publication. So it's like, what do they hate about me? Because I don't know who I am. And that's all for today. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.